Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and here I'm uh, continuing to build a uh, grain mill for a friend uh, and using some of my more advanced tools and really are, are carved for and are detailed in the book. In part here, I'm taking one of the, uh, the burrs that was uh, being used as a prototype for uh, the production process, and I came up with a better process of using the external... Uh, shaft that would end up being welded into it. So I need to expand the hole to make this one uh, suitable for uh, the setup that I came up with. So I've got my two horsepower uh, Harbor Freight mill drill set up. I've got it with uh, my rotary table and my rotary table is a uh, 12 inch model which really is kind of big for this uh, um, this size of mill drill. It works well, um, and I was able to get it during the last economic downturn for a fraction of the price. I think this was about uh, 70 bucks US when I purchased it. Uh, the Canadian dollar was floating around parity, and then of course uh, shipping within the states is pretty pretty cheap via flat rate boxes. Um, mailman must have had a heart attack. <laughs> Uh, carrying this uh, out of his little postal truck but uh, I got it for a good deal certainly a better deal than I could get a uh, modern one for so I've got a 5 16 end mill chucked in uh, the collet so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, the burr is roughly centered I'll go and uh, uh, start milling out that expanded size uh, center hub hole and uh, you can watch what I do. Ah. 